Hi, it's Daisy from MyWidowedHeart.com. I'm here at Old Time Pottery and they have got the most beautiful artificial flowers right now. So I've decided to go ahead and pick my flowers for my next floral arrangement for my husband's grave. What I usually do is I just walk around and see what is available and basically get my inspiration from that. Or maybe you have specific colors or certain types of flowers in mind and so you might be looking for those. I have to admit I usually don't have much of a plan, I just kind of go by what I see and what I really like and then I go from there. I just love this yellow, it's so beautiful and cheerful, so I think these might be my filler flowers. And normally I would choose my focal or main flowers first, but this time these yellow filler flowers just caught my eye right away. Now I have to decide on what I want to use for my focal flowers. Focal flowers will be the bigger ones um, that obviously the focus will be on. And today I'm thinking either red or blue. So that doesn't look bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and try the blue ones, see what those look like. I absolutely love the combination of the blue hydrangeas and the yellow filler flowers, so I'm gonna go with that. I grabbed three bushes of those blue hydrangeas, so now I'm gonna see what else I need. When I choose my flowers, one thing I try to stay away from are things that probably won't hold up that well being outside in the elements for a couple of months. So that's usually stuff like those fussy centers inside the flowers or things like fake berries that are usually made out of some kind of a styrofoam material and some paint on it I guess and these usually don't hold up that well. Also anything that has a papery kind of material probably wouldn't hold up very well. When deciding on flowers, I usually hold them next to each other, kind of like in a bouquet. Then I try different combinations and see what I like best. I think I'm just going to stick with these because if you look at the bouquets of the filler flowers in the front here in this picture, they do actually have different shades of yellow and also have different types of flowers. So I think that's going to be enough. I try not to do too many different colors, usually about four maybe. The other yellow filler flowers are a little taller and a little more wispy and I always like to have something that can stick out a little bit just for a little extra interest. I'm pretty happy with what I've got here and so at this point I'm going to start adding everything up to see how much it's roughly going to cost me. Here is where it can honestly get a little depressing and shocking because I'm already at $73 and I don't even have my greenery yet for the bottom of the arrangement. And this doesn't even include the floral foam, floral picks, floral tape and whatever else I need. So I think I went a little crazy. I'm gonna have to see if I can't eliminate something. It's really easy to go overboard with all these beautiful flowers and I definitely recommend adding everything up before you get to the checkout because it might just be way more than you think it's gonna be. I think I will really need all of the filler flowers, but I had grabbed three of the hydrangea bushes and uh, I'm gonna put one back. I think two is gonna be enough or it's gonna have to be enough. There are seven hydrangea blossoms on each one of those. So if I get two, that's gonna give me 14 hydrangea blossoms and that's gonna work, but I couldn't do less than that. That brings me to another point. Make sure you inspect your flowers. Sometimes they will have blossoms or other parts missing and it's incredibly frustrating when you realize that after you've gotten home. Now I still need my greenery for the bottom of the arrangement. I like to use fern leaves, so I'm gonna grab some of those. I already have floral picks, floral tape and the floral foam at home. I don't need to buy that today. So these are all the materials we'll need. We've got our focal or main flowers here, our blue hydrangeas. We've got our filler flowers. We've got our taller filler flowers. And we've got our fern leaves for the bottom of the arrangement. We'll also need scissors to cut off the tags. Some wire cutters or pliers with wire cutters. And I like to use wooden floral picks, at least for some of the stems. 
Make sure they're the ones that have the wire attached to it. I usually have some six inch ones and some three inch ones and you can use them to give you a little extra height if your stems are too short otherwise. And even if you don't need the extra height, sometimes depending on how your stems are, they can make it easier to insert your florals into the foam. If you're using the wooden picks, you'll also need floral tape. For the stems that I insert directly into the foam without wooden picks, I like to use a glue gun and glue sticks just to give it a little extra hold. You will also need a floral foam cone or foam insert for your vase. This is the kind that I usually like to use. It's very important to make sure that your foam insert fits your cemetery vase. And you may need a knife to make little adjustments to your foam insert to maybe make it more narrow at the bottom or something like that. So besides having to possibly cut your foam to fit your cemetery vase, you will also need to know exactly how the foam fits into the vase. And by that I mean how much of the foam is actually going to stick out of the vase. Because you'll want to cover those parts as you'll make your arrangement. This is how this particular insert fits my cemetery vase. It's also totally fine if your foam is level with the top of the vase. It's just a matter of preference, I guess, and also what's available. If you do not have a cemetery vase, you can buy one of those plastic cemetery vases that already have the foam inside them. And they usually come with a stake attached to it, so you can stick it into the ground. You will also need some type of a vase or really any kind of container that you can use to stick your foam into and that's gonna hold it steady while you work on your arrangement. So I'm gonna start by taking the tags off and then I'm gonna start cutting all the stems off at the lowest possible point. You'll want to keep the individual stems as long as possible. If you don't need the entire length later on, you can always cut them shorter. Now all of the stems have been separated and cut off at the lowest possible point. Remember when I said that those bushes of filler flowers really have different shades of yellow and different types of flowers? Now that they've been cut apart and sorted, you can really see that. So first thing I'm gonna do is sort my focal flowers by size. I need to find the longest one, that's the one I'm gonna start with. So this one's a little shorter, I guess. That one is definitely shorter. Now I have them sorted out. These are my longest ones. These are a little bit shorter and those are the shortest. So I'm gonna take one of the longest ones as my first flower and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the leaves upward to make it look fuller. And now I'm going to be sticking it right in the center of my floral foam. I think the length is just right, so I'm not gonna clip anything off and I don't need to use a floral pick, it's long enough without one. I can just use some hot glue and stick it right in. It is a bit unusual that I don't have to use a wooden pick for that first flower. Usually they're not tall enough to do without a wooden pick. 
The way I usually do my arrangements these days is I start with my focal flowers and I work my way down in tiers or levels. So the first flower is going to be the first tier, tier one. So now I'm starting to work on my second tier and that tier is going to be a little bit lower than the first one. The stems are going to be slightly shorter. So I gotta figure out how long I need the stem to be. You have to calculate in the length of the stem that's going to be inserted into the foam or the length of the wood pick if you were to use one. It needs to be about this long, so I'm gonna clip it right here. I'm putting some hot glue at the end of the stem and I'm going to insert it into the foam right here. I'll be using four focal flowers in tier two. You can do more or less. It just depends on the kind of flowers that you're using and the look you're going for. Basically with the tiers or levels, I work my way down and outwards. If you're sure about the lengths you need for the particular tier you're working on, you might wanna go ahead and just prep the other ones for that level too. If you feel unsure and you think you might have to change things, you don't really have to use the hot glue. It'll probably be fine without the hot glue anyway. Or you could always add a little later on, right where the stem meets the foam. So here we have tier one and tier two. I'm starting to work on tier three now and again I'll have to figure out where to cut my stems and I have to make sure to calculate in the part that's gonna be inserted into the foam. I usually insert the stems about one and a half to two inches maybe, sometimes less if I have less to work with. I'm gonna again do four flowers in this tier too and I'm gonna go ahead and cut all four to the lengths that I need. I'm going to place them in between the flowers of tier two and moving outward or downward on the floral foam. And now we have tier one, tier two, and tier three. Now I'm working on tier four. Let's see how long I need this to be. I gotta make sure I don't cut these too short. I want them to jut out just a little bit more than the ones in the previous tier. So these are going in pretty much horizontally down here and this is going to be my last tier. And you know, all of that is just a method, a guideline that I use. You can make these arrangements all different kinds of ways, whatever works for you. And it doesn't have to be this big. You could just do a smaller and more simple one with a lot less flowers too. This time I actually have to measure these lower ones to make sure they're at the same length. Usually I can just eyeball it. So now we have tier one, two, three and four. Now I'm working on my filler flowers. I have to make sure they're the right length. Then use some hot glue 
and stick them in between the focal flowers of tier two. And that's just a general guideline. And again, stick it in between the focal flowers of tier two and just keep going. Now I'm working on putting filler flowers in between the focal flowers of tier three. And I'm doing the same on tier four. I'm now adding the other filler flowers, the ones that are a little darker yellow. This stem here isn't quite long enough. By the time I push it into the foam, it would be too short. So I'm going to have to use a wood pick. What you want to do is hold the wooden floral pick and the flower stem together so that some of the length is overlapping. Then you take the wire and wrap it around both the wooden pick and the floral pick and go around uh, about two times. Then what you want to do is you want to go in between the wooden pick and the floral pick with your wire. And then keep wrapping around both of them, going downwards. Work your way to the bottom and then you will do the same thing again. You go in between the wooden pick and the floral stem. And then you take the remaining wire and wrap it upwards around both. And this is what it looks like. Now take your floral tape and the thing you have to remember about the floral tape is it only becomes sticky uh, when you stretch it. So start at the top, start wrapping it around, but stretch it as you go to release the stickiness. You work your way down and keep going till you're at the bottom and then I usually just go back up just a little bit and then all you have to do is tear it off and there you have it so now I've got my filler flowers done I have all of these here left. I'm going to hold on to them until the end and then see where I might need to fill in some spots. Now I'm going to add my fern leaves at the bottom. And I'm just going to hot glue them in. I'm bending them downwards a bit to make it look more natural. All the fern leaves are done and the arrangement is pretty much finished. At this point I like to place the arrangement on the floor to look at it from that angle because when it's at the cemetery it's going to be low to the ground. And so I can see better where I might need to add something. Looks like I might need to add something right here and maybe right here. I ended up adding all of my filler flowers that I had left and I think it looks pretty good now. All you might need to do now is make little adjustments like bending the stems a little bit or adjusting those leaves a little bit and the arrangement is done. To make it stay pretty longer, you might want to spray it with something like Kiwi Camp Dry Heavy Duty Water Repellent. You don't have to and it's gonna be totally fine without it too, but this might help keep it prettier for longer. I hope this has been helpful to you. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.